What's up guys, welcome to my channel once again, this is Cross Life and today we are going to do a new PP section using something super nice yeah, which is the class cloak of crab so if you can see the name is Cape Hulko if you don't know it it's part of the Prince of Thieves uh, set and if you see the set we have a couple of items there that are uh, basically items that will help you reduce in AP or give you certain characteristics to the spells of a cram. I'm going to the, be doing a series of videos about each item so today we're going to start with the cloak but uh, the next videos are going to be also fun using our items so we can like get the maximum potential of these uh, class items because normally they are not really used so yeah they are there for something so we can experiment with it and for sure we can get some results and would be fun so why this cape i wanted to start with this cape because it has something super nice so if you see in the second characteristic uh, i'm going to focus on this one basically uh, it's going to reduce the debris narrow spells ap cost by one what does it mean normally if you are familiar with this spell this spell is uh, normally 3 AP and is super powerful when you stack it in a target and then you change the target. If you know how to use it, I'm going to explain it uh, real quick. So let's say that you have a target, you hit first time, it's going to hit uh, from 11 to, 30, to 13 air damage. Second time 23 to 27, third time 34 to 38 and that's the maximum that you can stack. It's a bit confusing because then you have 34 to 38, 52 to 56, 70 to 74. They don't really specify that these last three in the um, in the effects are only when you change target. So basically, you are going to stack the first three in one target without changing the target. If you change the target, the effects are going to be lost, but you are going to hit more. Why? because then it comes about these three lines so let's say that you have three stacks then if you change the target to that stack where you had the three targets it's going to hit 70 to 74 if you only had two stacks then it's going to hit a uh, 52 to 56 if you only had one stack then when you change target it's going to hit 34 to 38 i know that it sounds still a bit complicated maybe to understand if you are not familiar with it but Please take a look to the fights and you will uh, more or less get it. So it's super easy to understand, it's just that maybe the description is not really complete in my opinion and yeah maybe it's too much information to put there as well. So along the escape um, we have, yeah as I just explained the, the burn arrow reduction spell AP. Besides that we have something super nice that I'm going to be using in this video is that the recoil beacon no longer requires line of sight. What does it mean? Normally uh, if you use your recoil beacon you will see that it works like uh, another spell that requires line of sight. If you if you have line of sight you can place it but if you don't then you, you cannot. Nice about this is that you can put it against the walls or uh, behind a wall if you want because it doesn't have any line of sight so easily to reach uh, enemies, to escape, for whatever is going to be useful. Uh, besides this, you have uh, another characteristic that is the repulsive arrow spells maximum range is going to be increased by 2. So normally, we always use this no matter with your element. Uh, now we are going to have a bit more of range, which is pretty handy I would say. Uh, besides that, what else is interesting here, the withdrawal arrow, so if you are familiar with this spell, this spell we use it to escape using our beacons or another enemy or another target, whatever we have in front, but normally is linear. So with the escape hook with the, uh, with the this uh, set class escape, uh, we are not going to have that problem anymore to be linear, we will be able to use it no matter if it is diagonal or yeah it uh, doesn't need to be linear is what i'm trying to say uh, yeah i'm going to focus only on this the others the other things are not really relevant for agility so i'm not going to mention it 
Um, I'm going to play with a basic agility set. I'm going to leave it in the description anyway, so you can take a look later. But basically, it's yeah, Mantax, uh, Jammy Jack, Alistair, uh, Menobel, and Three Tool Pumps. The fuses are, as you can see here, and the pet is a um, agility and air damage pet. So, yeah, I'm going to do two or three fights, and you can see how it works, and it's going to be interesting. So, enjoy! Alright, in this fight we have a cram. Uh, I'm going to play with the bad side instead of represent this person. Uh, again, yeah, the warring arrow. I'm going to play also with absolute acuteness and my withdrawal. So let's see, I'm excited to see how this works. So let's see, this crowd seems to be chance because of the set All, or the prince, I mean. Um, has 20% resistance to agility. Uh, bear in mind that I'm not playing in high rating, I'm playing like in 4.3, so it's just to test the stuff. So don't expect to have like super experienced people maybe playing against me. Because again, it's just to try stuff. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to start uh, taking this guy out. To, yeah, I have another side here, and as you can see, I will be able to hit twice because this is only two spell two AP because of the cape. Uh, as you can see, as well, I can use my withdrawal arrow using the crown. So I will run, let's say, here. So it's more difficult for him to reach me. He will be able to hit uh, with the beacon, that's okay. Um, as you can see also the recall beacon is um, doesn't require a lot of sight, super cool. Actually I would say that you can maybe use it against a Sacris or when anyway, you have to escape Oogie is also super handy. I, I really didn't know all of this. There's no underscoring that is super cool. Okay, he's charging his spells. Okay. Uh, bu -bu -bu. Okay, let's see. Um, I'm going to move myself. That hit so nice. So as you can see, this guy already has the the burn arrow in the third state. What he was explaining that. If you hit the target three times without changing the stacks, the target is going to be a maximum 34 to 38. Once I change the target, which I'm going to show soon, it's going to hit uh, from 70 to 74 air damage. So let's see, I have this guy really low HP. Okay, this is not that nice, but I'm trying to I'm going to reach him here. So I'm going to put my beacon here. Ah, fuck. Okay, couldn't really do much. My battery didn't calculate the the distance, but I can change the stack. So look at this. Only with two AP, I will be able to hit one K. Oof, one one point one mostly. <laughs> He's almost also without any range the sun. He's going to approach me. He has oh, next turn he has the atonement arrow. So I need to protect myself a bit. He might apply reprisal if he's playing it. Ooh, okay, okay, no, that is not bad. We have another like side here. Uh, you know what? I'm going to run. Oh, I finished. <laughs> GG. Alright, in this fight we have an Enotroph. Um, 
Let's see. I should play also with what sign you like. I want to play with this person. Nah, no, actually, I want to play with reprisal. And then I'm not really going to put my Barnes that I normally play against them. But as I'm just saying, fuck it. I need range for this one because it's going to fuck me up if I don't do it. And let's go. So we have his menu has only 22% resistance to air. That, yes. So we're going to play with the bunny. Let's do it twice to apply the poser. Alright. Um, I'm going to rush a bit to use withdrawal. Mm. Want to play Trani Kalen twice the word arrow. Okay, he is playing with Cloudy, okay, so next turn he's going to hit super hard. He have no boost, so that's alright. He just took my range, I'm going to put it again next turn. Okay, interesting. I better reach. I better reach here. Into both. And next soon I can change the sacks. So let's see. Ah, fuck, I didn't apply any range. Anyway, next, next turn I change the sacks if he hasn't killed me because he's sitting quite hard. Okay, he might summon something. Oh fuck. Ah, he did it. Okay, that's cool. Uh, I'm just going to approach. Okay, in range. First, I want to see if I can kill him with this. Yeah, it's going to hit my heart. I can finish. GG, bro. This fight we have an echo flip. And yeah, let's see, I'm going to play with this spells. I'm not going to change much. Let's go. So, this echo flip. Uh, must be a thin fire because of the minus critical resistance. So I'm going to start rushing actually. Nice calculation. <laughs> okay, I didn't calculate my line of sight here, my butt. Okay, he might go close. I'm going to start shoving my Devon Arrow on this turn and I'm going to put Tyrannical. I don't really get what is the, the difference on range with the retreat, seems quite the same to me actually. But yeah. Okay, I'm going to. So let's just kill the kitten. I'm going to put my weapon. And I'm going to lock. Let's see. Ah, he's an intelligence. Place his shield in this turn. Uh, 
and to continue sharing my devil now, now right now is going to be in a third state. What can I do here? I want to lock him actually, yeah, I want to lock. to remove the um, library okay okay he has good damage he has 31 31 air resistance so it's not bad I'm ready to hit hard next turn. If he doesn't kill me, I may be able to finish, but let's see. Oof. Okay, I think I need to do this right now because otherwise I won't be able to do it properly. Then I apply Tranical. I run a bit and I core myself. Let's see. He might play a Catholic slug in the turn. If he does, I'm going to just escape. Maybe. If he doesn't have to escape. But I'm going to put reprisal. Yeah, interesting. Apparently, he won't. And to charge my tyrannical, went to run. And I'm going to be just far. So it's a bit more difficult for him to rush me. I will. I am going to have 14 AP in this turn. He might apply luck. That's okay. I'm still good. Alright, he's going to rush, I'm going to kill the kid anyway. Okay. Oof. Ah, he, he didn't kill me. I think that I can finish because he's in the second side. Let's see. I'm going to put damage. Let's see, I hope I can finish. Alright, in this fight we have a run. I have to play with Batsai. Would be best nice to start first, but I answer that I want. So, yeah, let, let's see how it goes. I am hoping that it's not. Agility. I hate agility ramps actually. Not because they are annoying, it's just because they have so much advantage with the poisons in 1 versus 1 that makes it so difficult sometimes to win. Because they just apply poison, then they hide themselves and then you are fucked. Love tap. I know this guy, I think it's from Echo. Let's see. Okay, he's invisible. I hope I'm playing with the explosive, good. He doesn't have a Chani Pratek or something. Let's see his fly his flame. I think he is a strand. Um Okay, as I expected. I'm going to escape from this area. And I'm going to put a coward here. Let's 
same. Nice. I'm going to do um sign. Uh, do I have my ad here? Oh, I have chatter only. Okay. Uh, I'm going to boost. Uh, the traps were there. Now I'm going to run. See if it is maybe around here. Ah, fuck, he was close. Okay, okay. And um, I, I didn't really use, not even the outside, why? I have no idea. Let's see, this guy is my, my going to hit me hard in the sun. I have only, okay, I have good resistance to uh, strand. I really need to escape. He's going to put a trap here, of course. Okay. Do they even have release? I hope so. Yeah, I do. <coughs> Double stack, I'm going to lock the double so it can move. You know, so this guy doesn't have any line of sight here. And I need to escape from the double. So. Uh, let's see. My question is does he have enough range? And it doesn't escape, buddy. He might just change with the double. Okay. If he doesn't kill. He is probably dead. I think he is pretty much dead. Unless that he put a chain somewhere there. Which I doubt. Hmm. Do I have poisons? Nope, he is dead. to hit and GG Roski Alright guys that was all for today if you really like it hey, how was the player side with the class cloak give it a try because I, I would recommend it for certain cases so yeah use it if you like it this video please subscribe give me a like comment if you have any questions always helpful because it will increase the algorithm to get more people seeing this and yeah thanks a lot for watching and see you next time